Everything populating the heavens and the earth, including the animals, the mountains, the skies, and the earth, are all in state of submission to the sovereignty of Allah. They are living for, obedient to, in submission to, and are at the disposal of God and His laws. They all exist in state of Islam. Everything in nature functions according to fixed laws set forth by the Creator and cannot deviate from those laws. The sun knows its role. It knows it's the cycle of its rotation. It knows its role as the giver of light, heat, and energy on earth. The earth knows its rotation cycle around its own axis. Your own eyes, heart, brain, your entire body, and all of its components are working subject to the laws of nature and have no choice but to do as they are intended. The sun, the moon, the stars, the mountains, the trees, the animals, the whole universe all exist in a state of subjugation to Allah, all prostrate to Him, with all of them worshipping Him in an appropriate manner, in a way that we may not understand. All of the creation praises, worship, and lives in submission to the Almighty in their own unique way. God's creation prostrates to Him as per to its nature, even if they do not press their foreheads to the ground. All of God's creations know their mission and purpose. Just like the physical world submits to its Lord, human beings must submit to the will and law of God. Man is expected to worship and praise his Creator, much like the creations around him are continuously praising God in humility. Unlike other creations of God, man was gifted with the qualities of intelligence, the ability to comprehend and understand, and the wisdom to think, reflect, and ponder over his Creator as well as his life purpose. Man was also gifted with the ultimate beauty of expression and with the ability to make choices and decisions. All humans are born with an innate eagerness and ability to seek God, to recognize and understand the existence of the Creator. Once many discover the truth, they hasten to submit to Allah, entering into a state of total submission. Islam fundamentally answers the questions that trouble the conscience of every human being. Why was I created? What am I doing here? What is my life's purpose? Where am I headed? Islam answers all of these massive life questions. God has reinforced man's natural disposition with the signs that he has planted throughout creation to testify to his existence. Man faces a choice to submit to God like all other creations or to go astray and violate God's laws. All will be held accountable for their choices. In glorifying God, man chooses to be in harmony with the rest of the creation, an act which naturally glorifies the Creator all throughout the day and night, in its own unique manner. Our Prophet narrated, whoever guides another to a good deed will get a reward similar to the one who performs it. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. Assalamu alaikum.